In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a table of authorities automatically using Word 2010. You can follow along with previous versions, it's just that the initial menu might look a little different, but it should still apply. Here I have a brief that I'm going to demonstrate with. I, I want to note ahead of time that I've actually taken out pieces of this brief so that it's more manageable for this demonstration. So for example, I've removed the table of contents and the addendum and big chunks within it just like I said to make it more manageable so when you're looking at it and you're wondering ah that might, that's missing that's because I've taken it out the very first step that we want to do is we want to click on references at the top and click on mark citation an alt shift I can also be used as a shortcut to bring up the following window now you might want to think about how are you going to want your table of authorities to look in terms of the categories you know, do you want to just have a category called cases and have all your cases under there, or do you want to break it down further? Uh, for my example, I want to break it down further. I want to have a category for the United States Supreme Court cases, and then I want to have a category for federal cases. Well, those don't automatically exist already in Word, so we have to create those as additional categories. And so to do so, just click on Category here. And if you scroll up, you can actually see these are the ones that are predefined by Word. And I've already added one, the United States Supreme Court cases category, but I want to add two more. So just select the number that's um, available and type in your category and click replace. And so I've added two more there and now they're available here on the left. Now to begin marking my citations, if I click next citation, it's going to look for the V symbol and the section symbol. So keep in mind as we're doing this, it's going to skip over any citations that don't have either of those two symbols. So you'll have to manually look for those and go back and mark them or mark them as we go. Well here it found my first case, United States versus Green. So I'm going to highlight the entire citation and I'm going to click down here in this box to pull it in. And I want you to note you have to remove the pin site or it will mess up your table of authorities. So I'm going to remove the pin site and I'm going to assign it the appropriate category which is federal cases one that I just created so now I'm going to click mark and if you look here it actually added some additional text this is hidden text and this is what word adds when it marks a citation when you're doing this process it's going to be um, hidden characters are going to be visible by default because word wants you to know oh look you've marked this or you haven't marked that you can toggle this on and off by clicking on the hidden paragraph symbol marker. I've got mine as a shortcut up here, but it's actually on the home tab. But when I click on it, it hides all the hidden characters. But in this case, I obviously want it on. But when you see your page numbers increasing during this process, this is normal. And when it goes back to being off, your page numbers will go back to the way they were. So I just don't want you to get alarmed. I want you to know that this is expected. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to next citation and here it found a section symbol and so I'm going to highlight this citation I'm going to pull it in and I'm going to assign it the appropriate category which I've created federal statutes and click mark there's the hidden characters so I know I'm good to go I'm going to click next citation it found the next section symbol and this since this refers to the statute I just marked I'm going to select it down here and mark it I'm going to go next citation, highlight the whole thing, pull it in, remove the pin site, assign it the appropriate category, and mark it. I'm going to do a few of these so that you get a good feel of this process. So highlight it, pull it in, remove the pin site. This is a United States Supreme Court case. So I'm going to choose that category and mark it. Pull this one in. Again, removing the pin site and assigning it the correct category. And 
Now I want you to keep in mind, here is a reference to a case that I've actually already marked, but it's going to skip over it because it's going to actually look right here for this V. So it's going to go right to Richards versus Wisconsin when I click Next Citation. I want to actually mark those two that it skipped. So I'm going to highlight the citation, click down here to pull it in, and select the case that it refers to, and click Mark. I'm going to do it again for this citation as well. Pull it in and select the case that it refers to and mark it. I'm going to go ahead and stop right there because I think that's a really good, kind of gives you a good feel of what to expect as you're going through your whole brief. And I'm going to go ahead and insert my table of authorities. To do so at the top right, just click on insert table of authorities. And you want to make sure that under category you have all selected and here you can actually modify how your table of authorities is going to look so for mine I've already got it set to Times New Roman 14 point double space as well as my headings set to Times New Roman 14 point double spaced I'm going to click OK to insert the table and there you have a well formatted table of authorities I want to note that if you are continuing to write your brief or you realize that you forgot to mark a citation or you've added a citation, this table is not going to update automatically. It needs to be updated manually. So I'm going to scroll down and mark a case that I haven't marked yet to show you this. I'm going to choose this one here. So I'm going to highlight the citation, click Mark Citation, remove the pin site, and it's already set to being a federal cases category. So I'm going to click Mark, close, scroll back up to my table of authorities, click on my table, and at the top right there is an update table. And when I click on that, there is the additional case that I marked and so I hope you find this video really easy and clear on how to create your table of authorities automatically and keeping in mind that you can constantly go back and forth and add different citations and simply update your table whenever you've made those changes. I want to mention something really important regarding your categories in your table of authorities, they're going to appear in the order that they're listed. So when we were adding the categories here, they're going to appear in this order. So if you did not list them in the order you want them to appear in your table of authorities and you've already marked everything, I have a solution for you to fix it without having to do anything drastic. And this is how we do it. In my example, they are in order, um, but let's hypothetically say that we wanted to have United States Supreme Court cases be uh, not be first and move these around. How you're going to do that is each of these were assigned a number, a category. And so if I hit Alt F9 at the same time, it's going to toggle over to the field codes that are associated with the table of authority categories. And this number eight, that's my United States Supreme Court cases category. There was an 8 there, and when I added it as an additional category, I wrote over the number 8. Um, federal cases is 9, federal statutes is 10. All you have to do is change these numbers in the order that you want your categories to appear. So let's say that I want federal cases first. Let's just move it around. Oh, actually, let me move each of them around. So now I'm going to have federal cases, federal statutes, and United States Supreme Court. When I'm done making my changes, I simply toggle back to the normal view by hitting Alt F9 at the same time. And then I must update my table. So I'm going to highlight it, right click, and say Update Field. Now you see that everything is still tied to the category that I marked it with, but now my categories are in the order that I want, and it will remember this as you continue to update your table. I hope this helps.